Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table in front of us, we have a massive cleaver from Civivi. This is the Civivi Mastodon, not to be confused with the Civivi Bull Mastiff. I don't know why they've decided to release two enormous cleavers at the same time, but here we are. Now, some of you may have noticed that this is a second try at this video, and I got something wrong the first time, so I'm redoing it. And what I got wrong is this. The Bull Mastiff series, the mini and the full size, excuse me, and the full size, <laughs> run on bearings. They are 9 Sierra 13 MOV, running on bearings, steel, liner locks, G10 scales, deep carry pocket clips. The Mastodon is on phosphor bronze washers. Beyond that, it is a steel frame liner lock running on phosphor bronze. It is 9CR18 uh, MOV uh, with a deep carry pocket clip. In fact, it is the same deep carry pocket clip. And in fact, they are the same scales and the same liners and the same steel. The difference is this one is on phosphor bronze washers. Now, I don't know, again, why Civivi decided to release uh, two enormous cleavers that are essentially the same at the same time, but here we are. Um, I like them both <laughs> because I like a, a giant cleaver. <laughs> so these make me very happy. I think, um, so the Mastodon here is a more traditional cleaver. It's got the hole at the tip, which many traditional kitchen cleavers have. Um, as opposed to this giant fuller that you get on the Bull Mastiff. Uh, that makes it a little more of a straightforward ki kitchen implement. Um, and that's okay, but I think maybe the reason they went with phosphor bronze on this is because if you're going to be using this in the kitchen, particularly to chop up meat, you really don't want all that stuff getting inside the bearings, right? So my guess is that's why this one, which is, again, Virtually the same knife, but just a little more kitchen oriented. But that doesn't mean it's not an excellent EDC. Now they do make a small version of the Mastodon, which I don't have, but this is a marvelous stand-in because with the exception of the fuller, and it won't have bearings, it will have phosphor bronze, they're the same. I love this knife. I love when companies do stuff like this. Uh, I really, really enjoy knives that are built around you know, things like the kitchen or camping or cooking or whatever uh, that also make excellent just sort of everyday carry knives. Now, this may be a little big for many people, which I think is where the smaller ones step in. But for me, this is a right size knife done very, very well. I prefer the Bull Mastiff because I like the multiple forms of deployment. Because of the fuller, you can finger flick this one. But they both work very, very well on the flipper. As you can see, I'm not sure if I can fail this or not. Let's try. Hold on. Oh, you can. And the reason you can is because the detent's fine. It's not going to shake out. This is a very heavy, big, big, heavy blade. So let's talk about what you get for your 50 or $60 or whatever these things run these days. You get one, two, three, three and three quarters inches on four of cutting on four inches of 9CR18 MOV. The grip area from behind the flipper, one, two, three, almost four full inches, and out here it's four and a half to the end of the scale. However, if you add in that forward choil, you get one, two, three, four, five full inches of grip. This is a big, lovely knife. All right, overall length, get it lined up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full inches. Now, for many people, this is going to be too big. I get that. But for a lot of us, a big, giant pocket knife makes us very happy. I am one of those people. <laughs> this makes me very, very happy. Now, because it is an entirely high flat grind, uh, and Civivi does a really good job on their edges. This thing comes down to a very razor bladey edge. Um, if the medium that you're cutting requires fine cuts, this is absolutely going to do a spectacular job. 
The secondary bevel is very small. As you can see, it's not a very tall bevel. Um, and that's because it's so thin down here. This thing is really sharp. It has enough of a tip if you wanted to do a push cut or if you're, you know, reverse hammer gripping for some reason, but that's really not what it's built for. And you're likely to run into the flat edge instead of the sharp edge. This is a slicer and it is excellent at that. Uh, draw cuts across media, you know, on a table like this work beautifully well. Push cuts through media work very, very well as well because there's nothing in the way of the cutting path at all. The choil, which is a substance, which is also a sharpening choil and a really well done one, allows you to choke up really nicely on this if you were going to do some whittling or some small work that way. But it is important to remember that there's a drop off here. So if you're doing push cuts and you're not paying attention, you can fall off into the choil and that will interfere with your cut. It's not particularly heavy for such a large knife, although I wouldn't call it a lightweight. Let's take a look. It is almost six ounces, but I'd like to remind you again that this is a nine inch knife. It also comes with a very nice thick chunk of 9CR18 MOV. Let's take a look at that. So back here at the thickest spot, four millimeters. Yeah, four, now yeah, it's wiggling on me, but it is four millimeters of 9CR18 MOV. This is a really nice thick chunk of steel. And why am I okay with that steel? Well, you guys know, super steels, blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing, 9CR18 MOV is an excellent kitchen steel. It holds an edge very well. It is very, very corrosion and rust resistant. It is exactly what you'd want in a kitchen setting. And this running on phosphor bronze washers means that, or washers, I'm gonna keep saying phosphor bronze because that's what I assume they are. Uh, means that it will service you very, very well in the kitchen. Now, Kaiser makes a version of this. They make the Sheepdog XL, which is even big, bigger and blockier. Uh, I did play around in the kitchen with both of them. I don't have it with me, unfortunately. Uh, this one was better in the kitchen because the XL uh, is a, well, it's a tank. This, on the other hand, because of the way it's balanced and because of the way it's shaped, feels just like every other kitchen knife, and that's exactly what it's supposed to feel like, with a few benefits. One, you can close it to put it away. Two, it has a really nice pocket clip, and as you can see, the pocket clip screws are nested, and I love that Civivi does that. In fact, everything is, you know, these, these, don't, these aren't very proud, they just stick up a little bit, but everything is well seated. Everything lines up perfectly. Uh, the blade on this one is just dead on centered. Um, this is a great pocket knife that also happens to be an excellent kitchen implement. Let's do some size comparisons just for visual sake of it. All right. Here it is against my modded out rat one. All right. As you can see, it is longer than the rat one, which is saying something because the rat one is a full size knife. And of course it is immensely <laughs> much bigger than our old friend, the, uh, the Benchmade bug out here. Um, these are excellent knives. They just are, but this, because of this blade shape and because of the size of it and the comfort in hand, this is a superb large pocket knife. I really mean that. If you guys are looking for, you know, I, mean, I think they're actually, I think they're in the sixties. So if you're looking for to spend 60 or 70 bucks on a really big yet comfortable yet fully functional knife, uh, the Mastodon may be the knife for you. Or if you're looking for one that's a little more aimed at the pocket knife market, as opposed to the kitchen that runs on bearings, you can go out and get yourself the full size bull Mastiff. Either one will serve you in the kitchen. Either one will serve you in your pocket. I love I just love what they've done. I think Civivi has done a really excellent job here. So that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. This is the Civivi Mastodon. It is 9CR18 MOV running on washers. It is a steel liner lock, and the lockup on this one is just about 25%, as you can see. It is comfortable in hand because of the simple yet elegant shape of the handle. It is an excellent slicer and generally an all-around awesome knife. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this knife or any of my knives, 
feel free to ask down in the comments below. If not, well, we'll see you next time.